What kind of tile can you put on the wall or shower? Do you have to seal tile? How much extra tile should I buy for my project? What thin set is the best for my tile application? How hard is it to maintain natural stone? You have questions, we have answers. Welcome to the Belk Tile Podcast. How to style the bathroom, the backyard, the kitchen. How to improve your home style with tiles to make your home absolutely beautiful. Welcome to the Belk Tile Podcast. Here's your host, Mike Belk. Good afternoon. Welcome to uh, episode three of Belk Tiles podcast. Uh, Today's topic, uh, we're going to dive into a question we get asked all the time. Bullnose tile. What is it? Do we need it? Uh, Why is it uh, so expensive? Why is it uh, not readily available? Uh, So we're just going to go a little bit into the ins and outs of this and uh, hopefully answer a majority of your questions. You know, the funny thing, bullnose itself... uh, (laughs) <laughs> was almost invented strictly for the American population. You know, over in the European nations, Italy, Spain, Portugal, they don't use bullnose. Uh, you know, they just use a, a metal edge trim, or they just stop the tile where it needs to be stopped and uh, don't worry about how it's finished off. But what bullnose is, is it's a, uh, it's a little piece. Uh, you can measure two, three, four inches wide, uh, anywhere from 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 inches long. And what it is, is it's a, it's a piece of the tile, and then they finish off the edge. Now, in a poured ceramic, for example, where uh, they can make that finished edge smooth, uh, so it can match the tile perfectly. This is most common in those bathroom tiles that are 4x4, four 6x6, four, six 2x2. Six, two two. They can make that perfectly finished tile. Uh, a lot of like porcelain tiles, uh, it's actually cut from field tiles, and then what they do is they radius that edge, and then they paint it to match. Uh, or if it's a, what they call a through-body porcelain, uh, they can actually polish that, uh, that radius edge to actually match the tile because it's the same color all the way through. But a lot of porcelain tiles today, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're given that rounded edge uh, along the, the surface, and then there's a paint applied uh, that gives it the color to match the tile. You know, there's a lot of other companies that are trying to come out with some different ways. Uh, there's a series that we carry by Opulenza called the Elegant Stone. Uh, where they actually pour it, and the finish actually goes over that radius part. Uh, so if there's a veining, uh, like in a statuarial finish, you know that veining will continue over that radius as well. And it's a real nice look. But as we discussed at the beginning, uh, bullnose tile is fairly expensive. So let's say you pay $399, $429 a square foot for a tile. You're paying anywhere from $499 to $699 just for a piece of 3 by 10 bullnose. Uh, so, yeah, it, it does add up. Uh, there's a great expense in making that. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, usually for the American population, it's it's made strictly for them. Uh, so a lot of companies don't like making it just because, you know, that's, it's a waste of tile, time, and energy. But it is available. Uh, most of the, you know, floor companies or tile companies do offer a bull nose. You know, the thing is it's hard to determine how much to keep in stock. Uh, but, uh, you know, so it's one of those things that you might find uh, is always either back ordered or not available. But a lot of companies are making it to the point where they're just cutting their own field tile and then finishing it themselves in, the, in their warehouse or uh, facility to make it easier. You know, the nice thing, too, about the bull nose is it's an easy way to finish off. And like I mentioned before, there's uh, a metal trim that you can use. You know, obviously the most common one is Schluter, uh, where they'll make it in a brushed silver polished chrome even an oil rud bronze, uh, brushed brass, uh, almost almost any finish you can think of. A lot of people will do that, and then they'll use that to match their shower heads, their faucets, any type of fixture that they keep in the bathroom as well. So that's a nice way to try and tie it in and make it all work uh, if there is not bullnose available. But, uh, you know, the nice thing is you just keep Keep designing your bathrooms, your showers. Uh, you know, if bullnose is uh, available, you can use it. 
the simplest way is obviously it's all based on lineal footage. Uh, so whether you go, you know, six feet, seven feet, eight feet, all the way to the ceiling, um, you know, whatever that dimension is, uh, you take your total lineal footage, you multiply it by 12, 12 inches in a foot. And then if it's only 10 inches or 14 inches, you just take that total, divide it by how long the bull nose is to get uh, the number of pieces that you're going to need. Again, any questions that you guys might have, please feel free to give us a buzz, uh, send us an email, uh, hit us up on Pinterest, uh, Instagram, and Facebook, and we'll be able to answer any of those questions that you might have for us. Appreciate the time today. Good luck. You've been listening to the Belt Tile Podcast. When it comes to creating a beautiful home using tile, this is the podcast for products, design ideas, and tips. We hope you got some useful, practical information from this show. And we'll be back soon. But in the meantime, reach out. The website is www.belktile.com. Our store phone number is 614-543-8334. Find us on Facebook and Twitter at Belk Tile and on Instagram at Belk Tiles. Make sure to leave a rating and review. And if you have questions or comments, reach out. And we'll talk about it on the next show. Till next time.